The Grouchy Ladybug by Eric Carle At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. A friendly ladybug flew in from the left. It saw a leaf with many aphids on it and decided to have them for breakfast. But just then, a grouchy ladybug flew in from the right. It too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. Good morning, said the friendly ladybug. Go away, shouted the grouchy ladybug. I want those aphids. We can share them, suggested the friendly ladybug. No, they're mine, all mine, screamed the grouchy ladybug. Or do you want to fight me for them? If you insist, answered the friendly ladybug sweetly. It looked the other bug straight in the eye. The grouchy ladybug stepped back. It looked less sure of itself. Oh, you're not big enough for me to fight, it said. Then why don't you pick on somebody bigger? I'll do that, screeched the grouchy ladybug. I'll show you. It puffed itself up and flew off. At six o'clock, it met a yellow jacket. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the yellow jacket, showing its stinger. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At seven o'clock, it met a stag beetle. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the stag beetle, opening its jaws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At eight o'clock, it came across a praying mantis. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out with its long front legs. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. At nine o'clock, it almost flew into a sparrow. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening its sharp beak. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At 10 o'clock, it saw a lobster. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the lobster, stretching its claws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At 11 o'clock, it bumped into a skunk. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the skunk, starting to lift its tail. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At 12 noon, it spotted the boa constrictor. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the snake, right after lunch. Oh, you're not big enough, and it flew off. At one o'clock, it happened upon a hyena. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the hyena, laughing eerily and showing its teeth. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At two o'clock, it met a gorilla. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the gorilla, beating its chest. Oh, 
You are not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At three o'clock, it ran into a rhinoceros. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the rhinoceros, lowering its horn. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At four o'clock, it encountered an elephant. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the elephant, raising its trunk and showing its big tusks. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At five o'clock, it met a whale. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? But the whale did not answer at all. You're not big enough anyway, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At 5.15, the grouchy ladybug said to one of the whale's flippers, Hey you! Want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. At quarter to six, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's fin, Hey you! Want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. And the whale's tail gave a grouchy ladybug such a slap. And then it flew across the sea and across the land. At six o'clock, the grouchy ladybug arrived right back where it had started from. Ah, there you are again, said the friendly ladybug. You must be hungry. There are still some aphids left. You can have them for dinner. Oh, thank you, said the wet, tired, and hungry ladybug. Soon, all the aphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You're welcome, answered both ladybugs, and they went to sleep. The fireflies, who had been sleeping all day, came out to dance around the moon.